Hey YouTube, I just want to share with you what I received in the mail today. So, so you can see right now, this is a Senscap M1 Helium Miner. So, let's go ahead and open it and set it up. Okay, so let's see what's in it. First thing you'll see is the Get Started Guide. This is actually an old instruction using the Helium app to onboard the miners. So if you're following the Helium Discord, you will notice that they have actually passed this role to the manufacturer now. And, and manufacturer is supposed to provide an app to the users to be able to onboard the devices using their own app. So I'm not sure, uh, I, I've been looking uh, this morning if I should be able to onboard now using the SenseCap app but I'm not sure if that's already available but let's go ahead and give it a try um, you know if it doesn't work with onboarding with SenseCap then I'll go back to this uh, old instructions okay so when you open the cover this is what you'll get you'll get the antenna this is uh, I believe this is a 2.6 uh, dBi antenna this is the Helium app and it's metal and if you look in the back you have the antenna right here you have a button here a Bluetooth button and you'll have a USB-C and an Ethernet port okay so 5 volt 3 amp it's very nice and if you look in the bottom right here you see that there is a fan on this side right here so there's no hole so that you can uh, mount it into the wall so you're gonna have to put this uh, flat like this okay and this is the power cord okay so let me go ahead and install the antenna first even though that is the uh, second uh, steps because according to them if you don't have an antenna it's, and it sends a beacon to the network it's going to fry your radio uh, chip in the uh, from the board so I want to make sure that I have that I, it's not gonna have a I don't think it's gonna be a problem right now because uh, the helium miner is not set up yet but I'll just install that okay so the power cord is about three and a half uh, feet so I measured it with this ruler and let me go ahead and plug the Senscap miner okay so now that I have it plugged in okay let me go ahead and look at this manual it says the first thing you want to do is download the helium app and create a helium wallet so if you look at the play store now you're gonna see that there is a helium hotspot by helium systems and if you scroll down you're actually gonna see another one called helium HNT wallet and uh, basically this is just an early access right now but in a couple of weeks from now or maybe about a month from now this is gonna be the app that you want to download if you purchase a miner from other manufacturers such as Senscap, Bobcat or uh, whatever other uh, manufacturers that they partner with okay so let's go ahead and try to onboard this miner using the Senscap app instead of the Helium app so see right now the first one here is uh, download the uh, Helium app um, for now, this is what you want to do because the Helium wallet is still in test period. You want to download the Helium app for now, set it up, and set up your wallet through the Helium app. Uh, you can also use the Helium wallet already if you want, but for me, I don't want to touch that right now because it's still on the test period, and you know you're dealing with your uh, crypto money in that uh, app. So I'm just gonna use the regular Helium app. Okay, the next one you want to do is download the Senscap app. So you just go to the Play Store and type in Senscap and make sure that you get the Senscap from Senscap MX Team. Okay, so if you look over here, Senscap MX Team. Okay, so I already installed that, so I'll, I'll open it. And if you notice here, you have the Deep Link Helium Wallet. Make sure that you are logged into your 
Helium wallet so that you don't have to enter your seed brace in this app anymore. So just click Deep Link Helium wallet. So this is going to be the process of onboarding once they get everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead and authenticate it with my fingerprint because I have that uh, set up. Okay. And it's asking you if you want to link your Helium wallet to SenseCap. I'll say yes. Link my wallet. Okay, so now it is linked. The, first, the next thing we need to do is add your hotspot. Of course, uh, in the manual, after you download the app and set it up, it says to plug it in, you know, and uh, do all the uh, press button LED. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and do a add hotspot and see what happened here. It says choose your hotspot. I'm going to select SenseCap M1. And here it's gonna go through your placing your hotspot. So first you want to have a nice uh, view of the sky. You don't want to hide it. Uh, buildings may block the signal. And it says here I hate bug screens. And unfortunately my how my all my windows have bug screens and I don't want to remove that because I open my window a lot and I don't want bugs to be coming into the house so I'm gonna be having that bug screen and also my window have dual pane and according to Helium forums that uh, if you have dual pane windows it might also block the signal so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna set this up as high as I can close to the ceiling and uh, leave it there see how it performs and after that I'll um, decide on where if I want to move it into the ceiling or maybe into the roof but as much as possible I, I don't want to go to the roof because it's uh, my roof is high and uh, and I don't want to deal with lightning arrester as well and running cable down so let's go ahead and just say I read the guide click I understand and it says here to attach the antenna to SMA antenna connector and plug the provided adapter. And in 30 seconds, the blue indicator light on the back of M1 changes from off to fast flash mode, indicating that M1 gateway is ready. So make sure your phone is turned on the Bluetooth. Okay, I have my Bluetooth turned on, powered up. And then it says here to press the back of M1 for 5 seconds. So if you look over here right now it's blinking fast so you want to press that see if I can press it with my finger uh, my fingernails too short let me get a pen okay so let me go ahead and press it for at least five seconds until it slowly blink there you go okay so now when it's blinking slowly I'm just gonna click here to scan my hotspot and say locate permission say okay allow while using app okay so one hotspot is found I'm gonna click on that and see right now it's trying to connect and it's telling me to scan the networks um, you can use this if you want to use Wi-Fi but for me I'm gonna be using the Ethernet so I'm gonna click use Ethernet instead so I plug in my Ethernet cable and now it's saying uh, set hotspot location so I'm gonna give it permission to access my phone um, location so if you can see here right now the blue one actually is where the device think you are and this one right here is the center that's basically to confirm where you are so you can move yourself around according to a lot of helium users you should be able to reassert your location up to 100 meters away from your actual location so if this is my actual location I know I have three hot spots right here that is about uh, 200 meters away from me 
And in order for me to avoid getting a hot spot too close, I want to reassert my location at least a hundred meter out right over here. Unfortunately, I cannot see the exact location where I want to be because I set that up in hot spotty, which and that gives me about 96 meters away from my home. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get an estimate so it's about around here where I want it to be okay so that I'll be at least 300 meter away from the other hot spots and at least within 100 meter from my actual location okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click set location okay and it says antenna setup sense cap I did not re uh, change my uh, antenna so I'm using the 2.6 dBi that came with it and height once this is set up I'm gonna be six meters from the ground okay so I'm gonna click next and it says register the hotspot so the your registration is actually paid when you purchase your hotspot so you can just click submit to helium and it's going to take a couple of minutes I was registering the device earlier and it just got stuck there for over 30 minutes already so what I did is I did some research and I actually found a thread where users are complaining about um, their miners got stuck in registering hotspots and some of them say you know just leave it alone you can close the app and um, it will eventually going to register it into the helium app so there's probably a problem with helium itself um, in adding the device to the network but anyway there's also one or two users that I saw that says they closed the app and they tried to register again and they were successful the second time they did it. So um, I'm going to do that. I close the app and I open it back up and nothing is showing here. It says there's no miner. So I'm just going to go ahead and click add hotspot. I'm going to click send scap M1 says give me a nice view okay so I'm just gonna say do that and I read the guide and I'm gonna click I understand and it says power up the device okay so I'm powering up the device and it says press the button on the back of M1 for five seconds so let me go ahead and do that again right now it is connected okay but um, let me see if I can just uh, click on scan my hotspot if not I'm gonna try to do that again okay so let me just uh, press it again so let me press it for like five seconds okay so now it's blinking slowly and I'm just gonna click scan again okay so now it says the hotspot is found okay so let's go ahead and try it again And if this thing got stuck again in registering mode, what I'll do is I'm just going to leave it alone, see how long it takes, and then I'll report back on how long it actually took to register it. Okay, so I'm going to say here, use Ethernet, and ask for permission to set my location. okay so I'm gonna set mine so let me go make this bigger I'm 
because I know so if you look here you have like two uh, color the the blue one is where the where your actual location is the white one is where you can assert your place and according to the community you can assert your location up to 100 meters away from your house you know it could be uh, due to privacy or also to help you with your uh, setup so for me um, I'm looking at uh, helium.com uh, and I know I have like a, a couple of neighbors like around here about uh, 230 to 250 meters away from me there's like three of them that have their hotspot set up and if I install my place in the in my uh, actual address what's gonna happen is I'm going to see them but I'm gonna we're gonna get invalid witnesses because those three devices are always getting invalid witnesses from each other so what I'll do is I'm going to go across the street and assert my location to the next uh, across the street from my home and that is about uh, 90 meters if I do that I should be able to um, see them and not have invalid witness uh, issue okay so I'm gonna click set location and it's gonna ask me what will be the uh, antenna since I'm not changing the antenna I'll be using 2.6 dBi the height meters so right now I just have this in my dining room and uh, once I got everything set up I'm gonna move this up into my second uh, room floor and that's gonna be about six meters from the ground okay so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click next and it says register your hotspot your register fee has been prepaid so confirm the location and the antenna selected is correct okay to register your hotspot please ensure your helium hotspot login to your wallet which is correct this transaction needs to jump to the helium hotspot app to obtain authorization so I'm gonna click um, submit okay so the second time I did it it looks like it went straight to helium okay and now I got my hotspot name and I'm gonna go ahead and I confirm and now it's saying registering hotspot this can take a few minutes so feel free to close the screen so now may um, this is actually a better um, screen now uh, I actually went over that uh, initial hurdle earlier so if you get stuck don't be afraid to close the screen and redo it and that's what I did I redid it and now it actually went to this registering hotspots instead of the one that just uh, turning circles okay so now I can close the screen and go to the wallet okay so now it went back to the uh, sense cup miner and it says add hotspot and let's see what's in here if you look at the activities now it's showing that my um, hotspot is pending registrations so i hope you like this video and please make sure to click the like and the subscribe button to help my channel